back in 2015 when we um, were looking to introduce some sort of solution to deal with these sort of low value calls. Um, we were looking around at other examples. I sort of go to many conferences and Inform had popped up. Um, also, I'd also spoken to many people who have actually said they've used Inform um, and actually they had that success. And then the initial discussions with Inform, and again, we, we did it as a pilot to begin with because we weren't quite sure whether this is what we really exactly want to do. Um, but again, we had the assurances from Inform that they could do exactly what we wanted to do. Um, we also had the benefit of actually knowing that other councils introduced it and also achieved quite significant reductions, both in terms of efficiencies and savings. So we thought, well, let's, let's work with a company that, that's done it before. We know it's successful. Let's, let's try it. And I think, you know, once we'd done the pilot stage and actually working with Inform was successful, it was easy, um, and they worked with us very closely because Again, we were wanting to do things maybe that other councils hadn't done. Actually, that's what really, really helped us in terms of designing a system that suited us. But when it goes live, it's not just live and then you forget about it. It has to be constantly checked and updated. So it's something which is, it's a live system. It's not something where you just put it in and forget about it. You have to look after it. But if you nurture it and look after it, then actually it can deliver fantastic results, which has been shown at Cambridge City. The importance of having a good partner in terms of being responsive to the changes we want is absolutely essential. Um, we have it with any systems, whether it's to do with our um, call system or whatever it is. We need a partner who can react to us when we have issues, but also we want a partner who we can work with and develop a particular solution. It's really great sometimes to get a solution out of the box, but it's very rare that a solution out of the box does exactly what you want it to do. So you need to be able to work with your partners, you need to be able to not bespoke it into a sense that actually it looks nothing like the thing you've bought out of the box because otherwise it's going to be very expensive and also when there's an upgrade that it's not going to work. But having that flexibility both within the IT system but also within your, your the partner or, or the um, software company you're working with to be able to work with us and do those changes is really important. But I think the other key thing is that we want those changes to be done in a timely way. So we don't want to be waiting three months to have a change. You know, it needs to be done you know, quickly and, and responsively, and that's what we've got with Inform. So in the future, Cambridge City are looking at lots of other different options as well. Um, web self-service, chatbots, and all those type of new technology that's coming on stream, we're, we're looking at and how we might introduce that. And it's certainly something we're considering as a council. Um, I know Inform have got a new product out regarding um, students. Um, again, we have 25,000 students, so ha having a chatbot or something that can actually use artificial intelligence to actually help us deliver some of the answers to their questions and also using the IVR and then maybe other technology to support that is really, really important. We've proved the benefit of IVR. I'm sure some of this new technology coming on board, if we can get pilots again to get it in, test it, make sure it actually delivers the results we need to, to have and then introduce it, I think will be fantastic. Implementing Inform 360 did give us exactly the results that we were expecting. We'd already seen that other London boroughs and other councils across the country had been using the system and they had actually achieved really good results in terms of channel shift and reduction in call volumes. So it was something that we were expecting to, to get those volumes. What we weren't expecting, because we decided that we always wanted that option that people, someone could speak to an advisor, we were expecting that actually there was going to be a lot more customers going through to an advisor, but in actual fact, customers weren't doing that. They actually, they were quite happy to go and serve themselves. And I think that's something which we weren't expecting. We were expecting probably maybe 30% channel shift, but to get that 50% channel shift or more, even with that option, I think for us, it was a, a bit of a surprise. But it, it just shows you that actually, it's a, it's a simple solution to uh, 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 an issue which you know, councils up and down the country uh, have but actually something you can do quite simply and actually can channel shift 50% of your calls. So it's a bit of a no-brainer, why wouldn't you do it?